Hello everyone, welcome back again with another video. Today, we're gonna build Bennett as a support or burst support. And so it will increase, it will help you in your team. Let's get into it. Now, what Bennett can do is heal your team and increase the attack of the character as well. And Bennett can also be a DPS but just do a reminder this video is about being him as a support or burst support. Ben's elemental skill will turn your damage into pyro damage. And there's also three types of elemental skill of Bennett. First one is the burst which will do one single strike of pyro damage. And next one is by holding your elemental skill by at least one second. And this is a charge level 1. It will strike twice and deal fire damage and launching the opponent. The third one which is the charge level 2 will unleash 3 consecutive attacks that deals fire damage. But the last triggers an explosion that it launches both Bennett and the enemy. Also do a reminder it will not damage Bennett. For the elemental burst of Ben, it will deal an AoE of Pyro damage and if you are in that AoE, it will heal the character until 70% and if that character is now at 70% of the HP, it will give an attack bonus of that character by Bennett's base attack and in this AoE, imbue his characters within the AoE with Pyro. For the passive talent of Bennett, first one is Decrease the passion overloads cooldown by 20% which is the elemental skill cooldown. Second passive talent, when dispatched on an expedition in Mondstadt, time consume is reduced by 25%. For the third passive talent, within the area created by the Fantastic Voyage which is the elemental burst and the passion overload takes on the following effects. Cooldown is reduced by 50%. Bennett will not be launched by the effects of charge level 2. Now moving on for the best weapons for Bennett. The best weapon for Bennett is Smith Splitter Reforge or Aquilia Fabuna because they have the highest base attack. Next one is Freedom Sword and Alley Flash. Alley Flash is a 4 star weapon and has a high base attack. It has more higher than the Skyward Blade. The next weapon is now is Coward Blade. And next is Prototype Rancor, Pressing Desire, Favorite Sword, Sacrificial Sword, Skywider Sword, or Traveler's Handy Sword. Moving on on the best artifacts for Bennett. For the best one is gonna be the four piece noble sea of blade. Next one is the four piece instructor. The four piece instructor is just Recommended if you are doing just more elemental reactions so you can deal more vaporize or melt or any kind of elemental reaction you want to do. Next one is 2 piece exile and 2 piece scholar. This 2 piece exile and 2 piece scholar is energy recharge only so you can do more elemental bursts if you want to. Moving on for the main stat for the art flash. Of course, now flower will be always HP. Feather will always be flat attack. Now moving on for the sands. For the main stat of the sands, it can be attack percentage, NG recharge, or HP percentage. For the goblet, it can be pyro damage bonus or HP percentage. Circlet, it can be crit rate or crit damage or HP percentage or healing bonus. You might be wondering why is there HP percentage? Because of the healing in the elemental burst is scaling off Bennett's HP. Now Ben's elemental burst gaining the attack bonus is based on the base attack of Bennett. Which is basically leveling up Bennett you will get this base attack from him. And the base attack of the weapon. You can either choose for more offense which is basically attack percentage or NG recharge. For the, and the goblet will be pyro damage bonus and circlet is crit rate or crit damage but if you want more higher healings you can go for hp percentage or ng recharge and for the goblet also is hp percentage and circlet healing bonus or hp percentage either what you choose it can be offensive or more healing now moving on for the constellation of bennett 
C1 Bennett, Fantastic Voyage, Attack Increase no longer has an HP restriction and gains an additional 20% of Bennett's base attack. C2, when Ben's HP falls below 70%, his MG recharge is increased by 30%. C3, increases the level of Passion Overload by 3. Maximum upgrade level is 15. C4, using a normal attack when executing the second attack of Passion Overload, Charge Level 1 allows an additional attack to be performed. This additional attack does 135% of the second attack's damage. Many people are actually confused to this constellation, so here I am gonna show you. What you're gonna do is hold your elemental skill by at least 1 second and tap your normal attack. And it, is, it will unleash this one more slash and maybe also knocking the enemies depending what kind of enemies you are fighting. C5 increases the level of Fantastic Voyage by 3. Maximum upgrade is level 15. C6. Now, I do not recommend turning your Bennett into C6 unless if you're gonna use Bennett only on Catalyst and on Pyro DPS. Reason why is because in C6, Sword, Claymore, or Polar Arm building characters inside the Fantastic Voyage radius gains a 15% Pyro damage bonus and their weapons are infused with Pyro. So you basically are gonna do Pyro damage instead of physical. I'm not so sure if this can be overwritten by the elemental skill of Chong Yun as well. It doesn't say that, but it might be cannot be overwritten or it can be overwritten. Now moving on for the team comp for Bennett. A walk would be nice. Now in this video Understood. is about Bennett being as a burst support or a support, so it cannot be a DPS. So what you're gonna do in the team comp for Bennett, you want the DPS, a battery, it can be any battery for the DPS if it's having a energy recharge problem or a sub DPS. And next one is of course Bennett. After Bennett, it's gonna be a sub DPS or a gatherer. And mostly Bennett is literally almost in every Chivalry team comp. Will never die. Now let's test this team comp and you will see the difference as well on the attack of the characters. We'll succeed. Now as you see earlier it was 9000 damage on the elemental skill of catching without Bennett's elemental burst. But with Bennett's elemental burst it dealed 15,000. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel. It will help me a lot. And comment down below what build should I do next. Whew! What build should I do next though? I probably will do Rosaria. But that would take a while. Alright, let's do Rosaria.